up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another Giants update video. Why the long year, you ask? Well, because guys, it's been essentially four to five days in a row now of just W's by Dave Gettleman, the front office, and Joe Judge by the New York Giants football organization all week all week the only thing i've experienced from them is w's from day one of free agency i i personally view it as a w some people thought that day one was bad some people thought that day one was too slow you know some people thought that day one just was not it i think since day one it, we've been making good moves i really do because we just we just started off with signing a, you know a couple of backup depth pieces and whatnot and then day two is really when people got excited because that's when Leonard Williams happened. And it's been all, you know, just uphill since then, man. We've been getting good players, good depth. Guess what? A great contracts. You know who's responsible for that? One Kevin Abrams and one Dave Gettleman. All right. That's all the front office with the great, great contracts that they've been giving out. It's, it's the same type of contracts they've been getting out since last offseason, which is either a one-year prove-it deal or a three-year deal um, that's, quote-unquote, their long-term deal. It's honestly a mid-term deal, if, if that's a thing, you know, with the option to get out after two. It's just been, it's been such good moves, and I, I really am loving it. And, you know, I, I've been telling y'all, a lot of y'all agree with me, so this is to the fans that are still maybe on the fence or whatnot. Dave Gellman has been a great GM for the Giants since 2020, all right? I'm not I'm not gonna get go ahead and say he's been a great GM for his entire tenure here I personally believe he really you know started being a good one in 2019 you know the same offseason we took DJ in the same offseason that we signed golden to the prove it deal and whatnot I saw change then but the biggest you know the biggest jump in terms of performance from him was last year where I think he hit it out the park in free agency and he absolutely hit it out the park in the draft last year was a perfect offseason for me and I, and I think anybody that goes back and look at it would think it's a perfect offseason as well this season so far or this offseason so far it's also off to a great start you know what I mean? It's, it's off to a great start. And, and if the Kenny Galladay thing goes through, well, you, <laughs> what, what can I say? But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about Reggie Raglan, the signing that happened last night. I was watching uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, so I, I was just engrossed in the movie when it happened. And also, Kyle Rudolph's contract details are out. So we're going to start off with Rudolph and his contract details. And man, when I tell you guys this is just a W, it's an, it's an absolute W. It's a two-year, $12 million deal, and he's only making four and a half million dollars this year i the way they structured these contracts amaze me this is a win this is a win two years 12 mil for a proven consistent tight end in the league who hasn't had a drop in two years i mean i don't need to give you all the run on kyle rudolph it's and, and i'll say it's not like he's ever been like i don't know one of the, the the best tight ends in the league or something no i think maybe he's been at you know at his peak a top 10 tight end but for the most part he's always been you know in the top 15 i'll say that always been the top 15 maybe the top 10 he's a great blocking asset for this team i absolutely love that about him and he's a good um reliable target in the passing game he actually catches the football so i can't complain he's a very traditional tight end and we're getting him real cheap um just four and a half mil this year they're they're keeping it as you guys can notice the cap hit this year for every single contract that we've given out has always been they're trying to keep it as low as possible i think that's more so because of the cap space rather than what a lot of people think is which is to keep space for kenny galladay now of course that could factor in but i think it's just because they're like hey yo we, we actually don't have that much cap to work with let's try and keep it down a bit but this turns a w move into a super w move in my my opinion here with kyle rudolph i like the signing uh, yesterday, I, I kind of love it today with the way the contract is playing out. And then last night, Reggie Ragland, I said Reggie, Reggie Ragland agreed to a one-year deal with the Giants. Here's another defensive player that we're, you know, we're saying, come here, prove it to us, and then you could earn yourself a contract. But you got to come on the team and prove it to us first. We did it with Afidi Odenigbo which was honestly the the best pickup in my opinion so far not leonard williams because uh, that's like the best overt pickup like the most under the radar pickup so far was a feedy this right here has a chance to like one up that because i don't know how the giants are finding this is a good player all right it's a good player i guess i should say that first he's a good player okay he's 27 so you know he's 
he's not young but he's relatively entering that that prime year or the prime years for a football player he has good potential and I think he could slide right in next to Blake Martinez and take that spot from Tay Crowder or 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 he could rotate with Tay Crowder now personally I would have still rather that we get that linebacker in the draft somebody like Chad Surratt you know who I know can be you know a, a good coverage guy just a good second middle linebacker right like like he, he's gonna be good in the run and good in coverage right i would prefer to do that but i'm not complaining with this because i think this is a good move i think that him and blake martinez is gonna be a good duo in the middle and while I, while i'm not completely confident that he's gonna be oh yes the the, the best coverage linebacker out there. I know he could do a good job. I know he's gonna be serviceable, all right? And I know that as of right now, he's, he's better than anybody not named Martinez in, in the middle linebacking court. And what I'm about to read to y'all here is from Giants Wire. They said the Giants agreed to terms with former Alabama star linebacker Reggie Ragland on a one-year deal on Thursday. It's another uh, flyer type signing that the Giants hope will be a low risk high reward move. And that's another thing I forgot to say right there, man. It's low risk high reward. Not only is it a prove it deal, we've been doing this mostly with, with defense players, but we did it this year with Feedy and John Ross. Yo, the Giants front office is just, they're just making moves not only that make sense, but are also just completely beneficial to us. If nothing comes out of it, we literally lose the least amount of cap space possible. If something comes out of it, well, with something came out of it. Our defense or our team in general just gets better because of it. The article continues with a paragraph that said, The 27-year-old Raglan was the SEC Defensive Player of the Year in 2015, and we know the Giants have an affinity for players who played under Nick Serban, uh, Saban and Kirby Smart, who was the Ties defensive coordinator back then. The Giants' new defensive assistant, Jeremy Pruitt, coached at Alabama before Raglan's time there. Raglan has an opportunity to step in and revive his career here. His top competition is a group that consists of Tay Crowder, TJ Brunson, and Cam Brown since Devontae Downs just became a free agent on Wednesday. By adding Raglan to the mix, the Giants are creating some competition at inside linebacker. And I, I agree, but I do think he has, like, I really do think he could step in it and win it outright. If not, they're probably going to do a rotation of him and Crowder. And that's a good thing that the article brought up that I completely forgot about. Devontae Downs, who was a Minnesota outside linebacker that we got last year converted to inside linebacker um he is now a free agent i really don't expect us to retain him this you i guess you could say this is basically his replacement because i don't think we gave raglan that much i'm gonna be honest with you when he signed with the lions for example it was basically a vet minimum deal i don't really expect us to give him much more than that or too much more than that if anything i'd say probably it's like a two million dollar deal at most or something like that you know what i'm saying but it's only a, it's only a move that could work out in my opinion and the giants are making great moves so that's it for now let me know what you all think put your thoughts down below and i'm out thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i'll catch y'all in the next one